to do a brief video on insomnia, which is one of the most common electromagnetic field disturbance symptoms. I got the inspiration to make the video um, because of a blog that came up on my Firefox uh, pocket. My deep sleep quest. I tried 11 popular insomnia cures. Do any of them actually work? And she's just describing how she has tried like counting backwards from a thousand and counting sheep and <laughs> and CBD oil and melatonin and all kinds of stuff and nothing works. And at the end of the day, uh, she ends the article with saying, so what's left? I suppose I could still try a cooling mattress topper, white noise machine, or dog's earwax. <laughs> which they apparently used in the 16th century. <laughs> so I got the inspiration to do this video um, on why I feel that is the most common cause of insomnia. So insomnia is probably the most common electromagnetic field disturbance symptom along with irritability and headaches. Unfortunately, these minor symptoms are merely the tip of the iceberg because the, the actual risk or the threat of these living in the environment of these incoherent electromagnetic fields is actually much more serious because the damages can damage your cells, it's damaging to the DNA. These fields are associated with certain types of cancers and this is all very well researched and documented and please don't believe me, I'm going to link some articles in the description box below so you can follow up with your own research. So my response to this woman who wrote the article for The Guardian, which I wrote in my blog, um, is the following. You sound like a very sensitive human being. We are here to offer some suggestions as to why you cannot sleep and why none of those remedies has worked for you. Your smart meter is pulsing. Your router is humming. Your refrigerator is buzzing. And your cell phone is screaming. You likely have not put your phone on airplane, and it may be too close to your bed. Heaven forbid, close to your head. You cannot sleep because the power lines are crackling outside your window, and the closest cell phone tower is zapping you. Of all the items mentioned, likely the only item you can actually hear is your refrigerator, which I can personally attest which is enough to keep anyone up all night long. And I personally have unplugged many a refrigerator in my day so I can get a night's sleep. Aside from the buzzing and humming items that you can hear, what are actually more um, sneaky and subversive are the what I call the silent scream items. Why is it a silent scream? Well, the auditory sense is based on vibration. So, just because you can't hear something doesn't mean your cells don't hear it. You see, sound is merely a vibration, and our human auditory apparatus only functions in the frequency range of 12 to 28 thousand hertz, that's the K hertz, or tw 12 to 28 thousand cycles per second. So we look at something uh, like a smart meter. Um, the smart meter operates in the 902 to 928 megahertz range, that's a million hertz, a million cycles per second. So even though our ears don't hear that vibration, it doesn't mean it's not there. 
And we can feel it. Our cells feel it. Our cell membranes feel it. That's why I call these silent scream items. Even though our ears don't hear the sound, our cells, um, the cell membranes themselves, are being so stimulated by the freaking smart meter, the router, the phone, um, whatever else you have in the house, the electrical wiring of the house. If you're very sensitive, there's a lot in the house that can keep you awake. So it's the end of the day, we go to bed, and we think it's quiet. Um, we lie down, but we can't sleep because we can feel it. And unfortunately, insomnia is only a tip of the iceberg, as I mentioned, um, as compared to the health risks of being exposed to these frequencies, particularly all day and all night. Uh, some other frequency ranges, just in case you're interested. The router is, is vibrating 2.4 to 5G gigahertz. That's a billion cycles per second. Uh, cell phone 3 to 5 giga. Uh, cell phone tower is the radio frequency of below 3 kilohertz to about 300 gigahertz. And those include frequencies used for communication, radio and television, broadcasting, cell phone, and satellite transmission. So what can we do? Well, first of all, we realize that we're having a normal human response to a very abnormal and dysfunctional situation. So the fact that people are insomniac shows that they're sensitive because they can feel that um, their cells are being fried, quite frankly. Long-term fixes are going to include uh, very deep and far-reaching um, infrastructure and societal and consciousness changes. In, in, in a word, awakening. Finding cleaner energy sources. Um, admitting that they exist, admitting that um, science actually already knows how to make clean energy. Um, in the meantime, there's some things that you can do to get a night's sleep. Uh, ground yourself every day um, if you can get your bare feet on the earth. I recently created another post and another video which is all about EMF protection for the home. So they're just little fixes including certain products that you can use that aren't that expensive to make your home kind of more of a sanctuary. So you can have some quiet in the airwaves of your home. And outside of the earthing or the, the grounding, getting your feet on the earth, um, checking out that other video, which I'll link below with the um, product suggestions. There is one more product that I will suggest, and this is called an Organite Sleeping Pod. Now this can also be used to structure water. So it has a dual use. In the night, it goes under your pillow or in your bed. And what it does is this is made out of a substance called organite. Organite includes, um, it's like a fine crystalline matrix of certain stones, including shungite, which is known for absorbing, absorbing toxicities, not only in water, but also in the air. The, the stones and the crystals in here are being compressed into a matrix, which creates something known as the piezoelectric effect. And this is actually a passive uh, ionizer. This is a passive energy device. This is free energy right here. And what the organite does, and this is why you can see the, um, the pyramids. They're often made of, um, the organite is often made into the shape of a pyramid. 
And those are little, kind of like little passive negative ionizers, or I like to call them passive air fresheners. So they're just things that clean up the air. Um, it's not going to clean the whole neighborhood. This is just a small disc, but in your immediate environment, it can make a difference um, to get a night's sleep. Sure, if you want to take some melatonin on top of that, or whatever you like to take for sleep, um, it might just help that actually work, which obviously it didn't for the person who wrote the uh, Guardian article. Um, but this is a pod, sleeping pod. Uh, by night it goes under your pillow. In the day you can take a glass of water and you can set it on top of here and it will structure your water and turn your water into what they call liquid crystal or fourth phase water which is highly um, hydrating and um, the best kind of water. So of course you want to use some type of purification process on your water. Um, I definitely don't recommend drinking tap water unless you live in a very pristine area with your own spring. Um, but I'm going to link this below, the Organite Sleeping Pot. <music> has um, kind of shed some light on maybe some ideas as to um, why you're not sleeping and what you can do. So please check out the other links that are going to be in the description box and I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching.